Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel for another match day vlog. It's sort of shit because I've gotten to this game late because I was at the uh, Gold Coast Freo game and the person driving me there got me lost but we're 24 minutes into the first. I'm hoping this game's actually good for the sake of it and I think I just witnessed a Richmond goal. So 12 to 27, 24 minutes into the first. Well, you know it's been a late arrival when the only bit of action you've gone is when there's 20 seconds to go, but Richmond get a hole in the ball free kick, and I'm not sure who it, do you know what it is, Nick? Cumberland, maybe? Oh yeah, Cumberland, all right, there you go, you know more than me. Come on, get it in. Oh, he's at the post. Far out. Oh, well, I've only been here for four minutes until it's already quarter time. I'd normally be saying a lot, but there's not much to say. It's all that senior up by 14. Did I miss out on much? Anything happen here or not, mate? Uh, yeah, Jack Rewell, he's faced full blood. He missed out on it. It wasn't that big, but the aftermarket was huge. Finally, some action. There we go, Rewell. Jack Rewell. Hopefully he kicks it. Jack the back. And he... Oh, he's got it. He's got the goal. There's not much of a Richmond. There's not that many Richmond fans. I've come to the conclusion that there aren't that many supporters of both Richmond and Sydney. It's mostly neutral, I'd almost say. Especially in this area. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, particularly given it's an Adelaide game. It's weird, don't you agree? A game between these two sides in Adelaide. Sorry? Strange. Yeah, I know. It's strange. Like, And they're not even Adelaide teams. Happily. Nice hit. Oh yeah, this is that Wagner guy. First goal, I think. I think. And he slotted it. Yep. Yeah, that's his first goal. Look at that. I think I called him bloody Wagner. It's obviously not Wagner, it's Warner. He's, uh, the brother of Chad Warner, Corey Warner. So he kicks his first goal and leave footy. And the Swans push out to a 19 point lead here. It just, I don't know, it doesn't seem like Richmond are really in this game that much. Trent Kocha in the flop. I'm not sure what happens, but I'm assuming he flopped it there. I swear to God if he misses this from 15 out. Oh my God. That is genuinely dreadful from Kochin. First he dives and flops for the free kick in the 50. Then from 15 out he kicks it and hits the post. Oh, he's actually a chance on the siren maybe. They will, the Swans will get a mark on the siren in what has been an extremely average, uninteresting quarter. Like, nothing's happened. Richmond have had a lot of the play, but just every time they go inside, they make a meal of it. They're like such a crap team to watch now, the Tigers. This will be you guys who can kick this. What do you reckon, is he gonna kick it? I reckon he's half a chance from here. On the sign to put the Sydney up by 21. He's kicked the goal. He slots the goal with the Swans. Go into half time up by 21. And again, what I say has not been the greatest game. Richmond, they're getting the ball, but they, they're butchering it with it. Uh, it's half time, an iconic moment in AFL YouTube history. AFL legend. He's the Swans man here, for the, for the, uh, here at the Adelaide Oval. And what are you thinking so far on this one? Yeah, I think, I think it's so far, like, especially when you know, the lead defence not well, I think it's been three goals. Yeah, I won't lie. Richmond, they haven't been all too great, but Sydney are looking strong. They're looking like they're getting this win so far. But I'm, I'm hoping that close game. What are your tip, tip from here? I reckon the Tigers, yeah, are going to have to get back in it. I'll say it's Swans by four. Alrighty, the third quarter here. and The Tigers are starting the quarter off with a bang. They've kicked the first two, or well, they've kicked the last two, I should say. And Jimbo has made it to Adelaide. Yeah, good day, good day. Uh, who do you want to win this one? Oh, probably Sydney. I don't, I don't I hate Richmond. Go in. Oh my goodness. What a goal. The Tiggies, they're just staying in this game. I tell you what, they're just staying in it. If they can kick maybe another couple more in a row, could really challenge this ones here because I just, I don't know, I still feel like they've got a few more gears in them, left in them, to possibly outrun the Swans. Great pressure from Richmond. Liam Baker to make it a two goal game. And that looks good. That looks good. Richmond are back in it. All right, it's Chiggy time now. The Tigers are all over the Swans at the moment. They've kicked the figure of three of the last four. And they're applying all the pressure, all the dominance. And it's only a two goal game. It's still plenty of time this third quarter. This game is suddenly turning up a notch. 
Oh, no way. Oh, my God. What the hell? Jimbo. Another goal. This has been an awesome quarter. I think there's been like at least nine or ten, a shootout. Yeah, it's a shootout. Before the half, it's been, it was like just shocking. I barely saw any goals, and now I've seen goals galore. You certainly have, mate. Oh my god. What happened there? Richmond have just made a shocking mistake, which was cost into the Isaac Heaney goal, and the rain has started to pick up here at the Adelaide Oval for the first time, all, all trip really. Oh! Jack Greenwell takes a ripper! What the hell? To reduce it back to a six point margin. Come on, Tykes! This is huge, absolutely huge. Mate, this has been a 36 minute quarter, Nick. Good Lots quarter, goals, good. This is turning to a good quarter. game. That'd be why. Great quarter for you. And it should sound the siren. Yep, there we go, siren. We could be on for finally a good close game of footy possible. I know I keep saying it, I don't want to jinx it, but the Tigers really turned it up in that quarter and improved their skill, converted, kicking six, I think maybe even seven goals in that third quarter. And only trailed by seven points, Jimbo. Who's getting up, mate? Who's getting up? Oh, Sydney should win. Yeah, Sydney. Uh, I'm on Sydney by 15. Oh, I'm going to go Richmond by... That is frustrating. That, that should not have happened. And a drop mark, uncontested. Second time this Papley, I know, and Papley makes the most of that one. And he's kicked his fourth. He's been on fire. Sydney kicked the first two. Sydney kicked the first two of this uh, last quarter. And it's uh, not looking great for Richmond right now. Tenants of 42k apparently, it doesn't feel like 42k. With all the people leaving. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Well, the rain's starting to pick up and a lot of the people here are being Absolute sookies sooks. and are backing out. Sooks. And I tell you what, with it being a two goal margin right now, what do you reckon? Does the rain help us along? Uh, I don't know, it's still, it's still pretty hard for Richmond since Sydney and Papley's dominated, so I think Sydney still should comfortably win, but you never know. Oh, the rain is actually starting to pick up quite a bit more. We're lucky we're under cover, but we can still feel it because the wind's coming through yeah, a little bit. No way! No way! What a goal! This has become a bit of a thumping now from the Swans. I've kicked, I think, the last four or five, and it's just not looking good for Richmond this season. I know they're not great with their starts, but only the one went after round five and three losses in a row. There's a bit of a concern now for Richmond, especially allowing City to just dominate them at the end here. The Swans are going inside 50 again. Where's Papley? He's already kicked five. Logan McDonald. There's Papley. There's Papley. There's Papley. And Papley's kicked six. He's kicked six! What a game from Tommy Papley. Six goals and 25 six touches. Goals I literally thought this game could have been a close one in the last quarter. Warner is now going to make it a 44 point margin. What is wrong with the Tigers? The Tigers fans have had enough. They're literally leaving by the numbers. And I mean, I don't really condone leaving early, but fair enough. What a shit finish from Richmond. After it being literally level almost in the last quarter, Sydney have gone on to win this game by 44 points. Let's belt out the Sydney song now. Cheer, cheer the red and the white. Honour the name by day and by night. Live that noble banner high. Check down the thunder from the sky. What will the odds be, great or small? The Swans will go in and win overall. Voila.